This next video is about how to create isometric text. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we still have our text styles, which we do. We have our oblique negative 30 and our oblique 30, which we have already set up. That is, if you did the ISO dims and ISO text style first. So those are set up. The next thing is we're going to look at, <coughs> in our box.com, we're going to look at our student isometric worksheet which we looked at earlier if you already did the ISO text and dimensions. <clears throat> so I'm going to expand this, make it larger, move it around a little bit. <clears throat> oh. And there we go. So we can see the steps right here for creating this ISO text. Now I'm going to move it off screen where I can see it uh, and I'll be referring to it. <clears throat> so back here in my drawing I'm going to type in dText and I'm going to click on style and ISO or oblique negative 30 is the one I need. I'm looking at the left ISO plane right here and it says I need the oblique negative 30. So since those are in the parentheses here, I can just hit enter. <clears throat> then I'm going to go justify. I'm going to go middle center. I'm going to zoom into this, shift right click, mid between two points, this one, and that one. Then it says text height, which that text height is fine. And rotation is negative 30 or 330. It's the same thing. So I'll hit enter and I'll type in left. I'll hit the uh, enter bar and ISO plane. And I'll click OK and hit escape. Then I'm going to move my text so it's centered a little bit better. And I'll move that left just a little bit. So there I've created that left side isoplane with isometric text. <clears throat>